What's good, my booskies? I'm Cotton Kitty, and you're in Cotton Kitty's Corner. Where we're just gonna sit back and vibe and just connect for a moment. So, take a deep breath, forget your worries for a moment, and let's just chill for a second. Allow this mental relief. Thank you for tuning into my podcast. I appreciate your kinetic energy. I got some good vibes ahead, so stick around and let's create a soul soothing atmosphere together. Welcome back, everybody. Today is Tranquil Tuesdays. Tranquil Tuesdays. I think today is going to be really, really good because we can talk about some breathing methods. Maybe while we're meditating or sitting in traffic and, you know, that idiot just cut us off and need to recenter ourselves because we got the little ones in the back seat, you know, you know, it may be necessary. So I think that's going to be something great to go over today. Maybe a little bit of holistic healing. Um, more so to you know soothe the spirit, soothe your energy. I'm a huge, huge, huge believer in protecting your energy, preserving your energy, creating your energy and creating your peace so if you don't mind maybe we'll start out by just taking a few deep breaths just to kind of get us relaxed and going and get our nice little center self just going there so just take a deep breath in make sure to put your breath into the stomach bloat out your stomach And just hold it there for a second. And let it out. Nice and slow. We want to take it nice and easy. Let's give it another go. Let's see if we can feel it this time. Go ahead and inhale. And just hold it there in your belly. And go ahead and just release it nice and slow. Doesn't that feel a little bit better? Are your shoulders lower a little bit? Maybe you can breathe a little bit easier. Yeah, let's just put ourselves in a nice little relaxed area. And we can do these type of breathing techniques anytime during the day when you feel just a little bit of frustration and you want to gain some really quick control before things spiral out. I know it usually helps for me. People don't hear it, so you don't have to worry about bringing attention to yourself or anything like that. It's something you can do while you're in traffic or you're waiting in the drive through or maybe standing in the grocery store line and someone's probably being a real jerk because we have those in society <laughs> i guess it makes the world go round but you know we have to deal with people and we have different types of people and the only thing that we can do is we can control what we do right we can't control what anybody else do So we can just take these little breathing exercises and we can just apply it at any situation, any time when we feel maybe we're getting a little bit agitated or a little bit frustrated. You know, sometimes those symptoms come upon us and we might need to hurry up and regain control of the situation before it spirals out of control. You know, we don't want one situation to control the rest of our lives, right? So it's okay to take a second, take a few deep breaths. If you need one or two, fine. Maybe you need seven or eight. (laughs) Do what you need to do. Try not to pass out. (laughs) 
<laughs> if you get a little bit dizzy this time to stop and breathe a little normally okay we don't want to lose air to our brain by taking excessive deep breaths holding too long so you just hold in for maybe five to seven seconds hold it for five seconds and breathe out for seven to eight seconds okay so we breathe in for five to seconds Hold it for five seconds. Breathe out seven to eight. And we can do that and we'll make sure that um, we stay safe at all times. But we're also going to make sure that we're doing everything within our power to keep that balance in our emotional well-being. Another thing that I like to do is I kind of like to stage my home according to what I feel that I need in a general moment. And I know that may sound confusing, but hear me out in my bedroom my oil diffuser the scent that emits from it it's a little bit different from the scent i like to have when i take a shower or the scent i like to have when i'm applying my makeup or maybe the scent i like to have in the bathroom closet as a whole those different scents um, it embarks something different for me. Um, I like to keep them nice and light so that they last a long time, but I also keep them nice and light because there are different scents going on. And we want to stay safe at all times, don't we? So, um, a good example of this is, say for instance, I'm having a really, really tough day having a really really tough day and maybe things didn't go so well I feel a little bit defeated but I know I don't want to go to bed with this same mentality I just want to do a little bit of something to make myself feel good I'll take my oil my my shower oil the oil that I like for my shower um in my case I love a eucalyptic or a peppermint in my shower um, eucalyptic usually does the trick for me during the winter times it makes me feel a little bit more cozier it makes me feel um, like I've just had a big pot of chili and I've just fed myself I just love eucalyptics during the winter it reminds me of um, winter in Chicago snow everywhere um, the snow would sparkle and you know the good cartoons would be on and um mom would be cooking in the kitchen and it smells just like winter blitz right um maybe you were sick and you got to stay home and the fix vapor rub on your chest the eucalyptics from that you know made you feel that comfort of mom's love so i've always kind of had a nice connection with scent so I would use eucalyptics in the shower mostly during the winter time and I would sprinkle it on the side of the shower that does not get wet the most and that's because I don't want it to drain away so the same side that the shower head is on that's the side I'll put my eucalyptics oil on and I allow the hot water, the steam from the hot water to carry that throughout the bathroom. I will allow that to kind of like open my lungs and um, help me breathe a little bit better. Help me relax my shoulders a little bit better. Just the muscles in my back even. You know, being 35, you need those little tidbits. <laughs> this is what I found to work for me though. And I noticed that um, 
maybe you know i'm going to bed just a little bit more relaxed you know i'm not as tense when i go to bed or when i wake up in the morning i wake up in a little bit of a better mood than i did the day before and that's what we're looking for we're looking for those small victories we're looking for those things right there um another thing that i like to do is um by my bed i like for the scent to be a little bit more cleaner so more of a linen scent um maybe something lemon based um something that smells like clean laundry i like for that to be associated with my nighttime um if not that my second go-to is like i said something lemon based it was probably a lemon oil i allowed that to release on the side of me at a very very low speed because then again i am using different oils and i want to be safe don't want to have too much going on into the air and i'll use that to help me drift off or maybe you have lavender spray um i seen a commercial about a lavender spray that they have for babies to help them go off to sleep and why should babies have all the fun spray some on your pillow too <laughs> whatever is going to help you just relax that evening um, we're looking for those small little things that we can do that creates a different energy and that energy we can bring off of we can we can build off of that um gentlemen this is a wonderful wonderful note i know you may think that this information is feminine driven and you know more masculine presenting individuals you may think that this is more feminine driven this is not I assure you that other masculine presenting individuals and other feminine presenting individuals will appreciate good sense. <laughs> I know as someone who's more so on the feminine side, I love, 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 love good sense. And I love for the person that I'm entertaining to be privy to having those things going on in their own dwelling as well it scores them wonderful brownie points <laughs> so um take heed and get you some brownie points as well <laughs> free advice there incense is another thing that i use to make sure that my energy stay nice and clear and just within my own personal comfortable range i like to burn sage i like um white sage i like um to dry out sage and wrap it and burn it um, or you can buy it from your local candle store or maybe you have a um, Wiccan store or a Christian store. A lot of these type of store have sage if you don't buy it, you know, yourself, the herbs yourself and burn it yourself. I like to use sage because it seems to re-cleanse the air. Um, you know, I'll say maybe a little prayer. Um, or if you want to do a little chant or whatever sits right with your soul and I'll go through my entire house and I'll just go room to room corner to corner and I'll just kind of cleanse that energy out I'll you know just go and make sure that I'm speaking the things that I want into my life and I know it's not that simple but I like to put myself in a mindset to be open I like to put myself in a mindset to receive the things that I'm working towards I'm working hard day in and day out and I want to keep my energy at a level where 
things can come in where good things can come in and i'm a big believer in giving myself all of the chances that i can possibly give myself um another thing that i like to use to help myself maybe calm down, relax, unwind, or even open myself for creativity, I'll actually use Soundscape. In the Apple App Store, there's a Relax Melodies app and there's free to download. Um, and they have a variety of free sounds that you can use and you can tailor it to your liking. Um, that's actually what you hear in the background here is some of their soundscapes. Um, it's amazing, amazing to use. As you know, my favorite is the rain on the tin roof. I also do like the sound of ocean waves and the sound of birds chirping, the tropical forest, um, creatures at night. I'm a big fan of those sounds. Um, it helps me escape to a different place. Can't you just sit back and imagine this sound right here? Doesn't it just make you think of laying in a open cabana or maybe a small home on an island on a nice little rainy day and listening to the water falling from the sky, the rain hitting the tin roof. And you just sit there and watch as the wind blow the trees side to side. Maybe you're curled up with a good book. Maybe you're curled up with your husband or your wife. But it's just bringing you peace in that moment. This, this is how we transport ourselves to a different place. This is how we allow the things that's going on around us to influence us in a positive way. Can't you just imagine yourself, the cool breeze from the rain on a hot, hot summer day? Wouldn't it just feel amazing blowing through all of the open windows as the rain just fall, leaves sway side to side? Can't you see it? The ocean as far as the eye can see. Doesn't it make you dream? Or how about this sound? Doesn't it make you think of a nice little babbling brook? Maybe you and that special someone is camping outside or snuck off from the party across the way, the campfire party or bonfire across the way. And you're just laying back and listening to the water crash up against the small tiny rocks. Feel a little bit of breeze and the crickets and cicada do their little dance in the background. And you're laying there and you're looking straight up at the, at the night sky. And you notice how big and wide everything looks up there and the glittery dots of the stars scattered across the black canvas. 
when you look over next to you and you see that moonlight hit the skin just ever so lightly illuminating that special someone's face let that transport you or maybe it's just some alone time that you need and it just brings you to that place where you're just centered in the earth connected to mother nature connected to everything that surrounds you let it engulf you let it take you to that peaceful place Let that sound be the thing that ease you into a peaceful night so that you can have a beautiful morning, hopefully better than the day before. Hopefully it brings you out of that frustration that you felt and hopefully you were able to set your atmosphere with some soundscapes that I think are... Um, just some of my favorites. I think they're pretty great. Because things like this, this little small tidbits that we can do throughout our day to help alleviate some of that stress, it's necessary. It's absolutely necessary. We got goals to achieve. We got people counting on you. We got things to see, places to go. Things to conquer. You want to create that, that atmosphere within yourself so that When the time comes, and there will be a time when tragedy hits, life isn't going as, you know, as you expected, and it's going to seem very hard, but you're going to want to be able to tap into some peace and some energy that you've fostered, that you've protected. So that when you need it in that waking, in that hour, in that heightened moment of despair, you have a whole sense of self to grab from. And not broken shards to try to piece together when you're grabbing on for dear life. Don't grab onto a shard of peace. Don't grab onto a shard of protection. Grab onto some whole energy. Create your energy. Protect your energy. Foster and nurture your energy. And don't forget to watch the energy that you keep around you. It's okay to weed out those bad energy. Those people that... You know, don't make you feel so good about yourself. You know, those type of energies where soon as you leave from around them, you feel more drained. You feel a little bit more on edge, maybe a little bit more anxious. It's okay to limit your time with those energies. We can always love each other from afar now, can't we? Sometimes it's necessary. I like to use the analogy of being a tree as opposed to being a bush. So my thought process is with a bush, all the leaves, all the branches, all the little berries, all the animals and the insects and all the ecosystem that feed and depend on this bush is in very very close proximity 
is very, very near and dear to the center of this bush. But high, how high do most bushes get to be? They don't get to be very, very high, the bushes. Now, with trees, well, when you're a small tree, maybe your, your leaves and your branches and the ecosystem that depends upon you and you upon it, maybe it's a little bit more closer. But as you grow, those leaves and those branches and maybe those little berries that were starting to show its head, they're no longer as close. They're, they're kind of far away now. And it's not that it's not a part of the tree anymore. It's just that the tree has grown to be tall enough and and those extended extremities are supported by the height that you don't need to be so close and I can still love and support and nurture you and you get to be your own entity have your own fruits coming from you and um, go ahead and plant more of our DNA around to be pollinated. It's okay to be a tree. You don't always have to be a bush. You don't always have to be a bush. I know it may be a little bit of a simple analogy, but it's enough to give a little bit of a visual to what it is that I'm saying about the importance of allowing people to fall as they may and I know that we're in a bit of a culture that we like to cut everybody off and while sometimes yeah that may be necessary other times you just may need to keep a respectable distance and um keep your boundaries going but you know allow for advice and counsel if welcomed we can't control anyone else the only thing we can do is control ourselves and i think the goal for us is to be better than we were yesterday um that doesn't mean that you have to allow people to do whatever they want to run over you that is not the message the message is that if you could live a, lend a helping hand do so if it's not going to be conducive to your energy and create more issues and cause a negative balance within your own self then you may want to think twice about how you would like to proceed you may want to talk to some friends or discuss it with trusted individuals like a therapist or your partner or that one person that give you sound advice um so just make sure that you are understanding the energy that you're keeping around make sure you understand the energy that you're giving off and if you do want to go ahead and alter your own energy there are so many tips and tricks out there that will help do that um, it's not always easy Sometimes we do have to make the conscious decision to say, maybe I'll just allow this to happen. <laughs> if you're feeling that oh, nothing's working, nothing's doing it for me, maybe just try to make the conscious decision to say, I'm just going to allow this for the moment. I'm going to allow this for the moment. Talk yourself into it. The only way to change that thought process is to change that thought process and sometimes that does take repetition but we can do it I know that we can do it I have faith that we can do it
So that's all the time we have here in Cotton Kitty's Corner. I hope you enjoyed the vibe and setting the atmosphere with me. I hope you're leaving here a little bit better than how you came. I really do hope you enjoy spending the last half an hour with me because I definitely enjoy spending my last half an hour with you. So until next time, my booskies, stay lovely, stay humble, and definitely, definitely collect that vibe.